Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm here at Guarantee RV Supercenters today to show you a brand new 2019 Winnebago Travato Class B motorhome. This is a 59G model and the G is super unique in the fact that first of all it has multiple bedding areas. There's, there's almost no B vans that can sleep three or four people. Almost all of them are designed for two. So this is a, a pretty neat rig in that regard. And the other thing about this is this is on the Ram Promaster chassis which is a front wheel drive. Now, I always like to make a big deal of this because people that buy Travados are really active people with a lot of stuff to do and they don't just sit at home in the winter. They might be skiers or hikers or fishermen and they have a lot of things they want to do. With the roof racks and the ladder racks I'm going to show you in a minute, there's a lot of great activities you can do with the Travado that most B-Vans don't really lend themselves to. So let's start inside and then I'll show you around the outside. Follow me. So the first thing I want to do is just give you kind of a real quick breakdown of the floor plan here. The thing you'll notice about this rig is it's quite open in the back, even to the very back door. Most camper vans have a, a big couch across the back and they don't, those make into beds, but they, they kind of impede your access to the rear doors and the cargo availability. So you can see that I've got a lot of space back here. I could do a lot of things. I can walk around obviously, but I could even put fishing poles or skis or, or what have you, dog kennel if I have a pet. There's a place for stuff to be back here. There's a lot of storage down below too. And they've even come up with this handy storage area here in this little vinyl deal. Now there's overhead storage as well, quite a bit of it. You'll notice that this has these new uh, beautiful uh, mic, uh, mirror finish cabinets. They're really, really nice looking. Now, here's what's cool. This has a Murphy bed. So now, I can just lay this guy down and I can have a bed. Now I only need a bed at bedtime, so why take up so much space for a bed all the time? I can put it up into the wall and I have all that storage and access and versatility. Then at bedtime I can just drop this thing down. Now if I want, I can leave it down all the time. But this gives me choices how I use my space and that's important when you're in something quite small like this. Now underneath here, this area is still available so you can still put all kinds of cargo and stuff even when the bed's down. So I think that's pretty darn awesome. Let me just put away real quick. So it goes away just as easy as what I just did here. Just clip it in place. There you go. Now. This is the bathroom, and it's got a lot nicer bathroom than most B-Vans. It's roomier. Uh, a lot of people complain about the lack of space in the bathroom in a B-Van. It's kind of the nature of the beast. But uh, with this one here, you got a lot of space, medicine cabinet, sink, and everything. And it closes off nicely, so you do have privacy, and it travels really well. Now, over here, you got a microwave. Most B-Vans, you're going to find that the fridge and the microwave are below the countertop. And a lot of people don't like that because it's just hard to get to. But this is up here at eye level. And they put in a big fridge. And this fridge is a new compressor style fridge. It's all electric. It doesn't need any propane at all. It's very, very efficient. And even smarter designed, they put the freezer on the bottom. Because the freezer is where you get into the very least. And so this is, it makes a lot of sense. Got a sink here. Got a two burner propane stove right here. It works great. And then you do have a lot of storage in the galley. Here, let me show you this. There's storage there. Storage there, lots of that. Now, swing around. We're going to take a look in the front here. This is very unusual up here. So with the with the with the 59G, the thing that's really cool is that we have this bench seat up here with two forward-facing seat belts. So now we can transport with um, even children in, in car seats or whatever, we got forward-facing seating. This all converts into a dining area. These two front chairs will swivel and make this into a seating area where we're facing each other, and it'll even make another bed. So you can put a couple of people in the back and a couple of people in the front, and that's, that's just real versatility. Now, another thing I really like about this rig is it uses the Truma 
um, heating system, which gives you both uh, heat and hot water. And what I really like about it is that it works on either uh, propane or electricity, not just propane. Most uh, RVs have propane furnaces, but this has electric heat too. And it also doesn't have a forced air system. It works more of a heat exchange, so it's ambient and it's really quiet. It's not noisy the way that uh, a forced air furnace often is, especially in a small space like this. Now up here you see we have a TV set and a home theater and in the cab area all of the conveniences. This is, listen, driving this is just like driving your car. It's very nimble, it's small, it handles really really well because it's a front-wheel drive. It's got great visibility um, and it's a V6 front-wheel drive so it gets very good mileage compared to other kinds of motorhomes too. You know most motorhomes have a V10 gas engine and burn a lot of fuel so a lot of people are going to these to get better mileage. So that's just kind of a quick overview of the interior. So one other thing I want to tell you is that this is equipped with Winnebago's new Pure 3 system and that a lithium-ion battery system that incorporates a number of features to make it so that you don't need a generator that you have to listen to all the time. Remember I was talking about that forced air furnace? Well another noisy thing in RVs is the generator. So we can now run our air conditioner, any of our appliances, our 110 plug-ins, everything we want off of the battery supply through a three kilowatt inverter system and when the batteries get low the engine will start up automatically and recharge the batteries. It's a tremendous system for people who want to go off the grid or who don't want to listen to that generator all the time and it comes in really handy for people with pets because they can leave their pet in here with the air conditioner on and if the batteries get too low the engine will just start up and keep everything going. It's a really really cool feature. All right let's take a look outside here. Follow me. Now, we look around the outside, first thing I want to point out here is I've got a really nice uh, uh, retractable screen so I can have this door open and I can keep the bugs out. It makes it pretty slick. These are really good looking rigs. They don't have a lot of flash and flare. They don't have a lot of stripes. They're very monochromatic and subtle. So you could park them in your driveway. They look like you just bought a nice van. They don't, and they don't have a big ugly motorhome component to it. And that's really nice. Neighbors like it. Neighborhood associations don't generally have a problem with these. If you look in the front, you've got a really nice aerodynamic slope design, big headlights, and again, really, really nice visibility. Now, down the side here, you can see that all of your control center, your propane, your electrical hookups, your water supplies, are all centrally located right here. Your, your uh, exhaust in your waste station is at the very back. Here's your waste station. It's very easy to dump your tanks and easy to get to these handles. You don't have to get on your hands and knees to do it. Now here's the cool thing back here. So the Winnebago Travato has a ladder and a roof rack and this ladder is removable. So I can take this off and I can hang it around the side of the coach and I have access to that whole roof rack system up there. There's solar panels up there. You can have up to three solar panels, which is great. Um, but you can also take them off and use that rack for other things like kayaks or cargo or a ladder or, or whatever you want to haul up there. You've got a rack up there and you could put all kinds of attachments to make it work. It's great. And then of course that ladder snaps right in here so you can go up and access the top of your roof from the side or the back. We also have a bicycle rack. Now everybody wants the ability to take bikes and kayaks and with the roof rack for kayaks and the rear back here for bikes, you've got it. Now these are removable so you can take them off when you're not using them if you want to. And that leaves free a two inch receiver hitch. And this trailer will, this uh, camper van will pull a couple of thousand pounds. So if you want to pull a little boat or a utility trailer with extra camping gear in it, whatever you want, this will work great. So that is a quick thumbnail sketch of a Travato 59G L, which stands for lithium ion, so this has the Pure 3 system. That's an option, by the way. If you're not interested in the added expense of the lithium system, we can also get them with the regular generator and the regular batteries, which is a lot less expensive. We have both choices. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name's Matt Elliott, and I'm here at Guarantee RV. I hope you uh, give me a call if you have any questions or if you'd like to swing by and see them in person. You can reach me at 541 954 
8495. Thanks a lot. You have a great day.